clouds, bitch. Check out my clouds, bitch shirt. Available at tofapes.spreadshirt.com. Link below. Hey, vapers. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been highly requested. We are looking at the Smoke Alien 220 watt. <laughs> Alright guys, so for months now people have been asking me if I was going to take a look at the Smoke Alien 220 watt. Now this is not my vaping style at all, but because so many people have been raving about it, everybody and their grandmother has this device, I thought I should get it too. So right off the bat, this kit is going to run you anywhere from $60 to $70 depending on where you shop. I will leave a link below to it if you're interested. It does come in gold, black, orange, stainless steel, and red. I do believe I have the gold here. So we just open her up and there it is. And it is the gold one. Da, 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 da. Here it is. Here's the back. It looks really nice. This is huge. It takes two 18650 batteries, which are not included, and high camera focus. Behind the device, you have a little second layer right here. Oh, that includes a screen cover, a user's manual, a what does this say? Oh, this is just about the screen protector. You have the quality control card as well as a battery safety card. Now you can charge with this cord or upgrade the firmware because it is upgradable. So here is where the battery goes. You just pull and it is hinged and there we go. The batteries will run in series and it has 24 karat gold plated battery terminals. So I'm going to stick two of my 18650 batteries in and check it out. This is the fire button, so five clicks to the fire button will turn it on. Here are the regulatory buttons right here and the micro USB port used for charging or upgrading. Here is the 510 connection. It does appear to have venting on the top on either sides and it has a lot of information on the screen. The screen is only flashing because of my camera, not because of the screen. It shows the dual battery life, the volts, the ohms, the PC, be the mode, a puff counter, and a seconds counter for your draw. If you try to fire it without an atomizer on top, it'll say no coil. So this bad boy is 85 millimeters by 44 millimeters by 30 millimeters. And it does go from six to 220 watts. Who vapes that high? Does, does anybody out there vape over 100 watts like consistently? I would love to know. In wattage mode, the minimum resistance is 0.15 and in TC mode, the minimum resistance is 0.06. In temperature mode, it goes from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and it also supports Ni200 nickel, titanium, and stainless steel heating elements. And this device is made with a premium zinc alloy construction and it has three different settings for output modes normal, soft, and hard, like traditional smoke products. They say that the up and down buttons are ergonomically placed, so that's like fitting in your hand, but I honestly think that's weird. I don't know. That's weird to me. Oh, guys, look. Oh, there's one of these peels. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, it's so shiny. I was wondering. I was like, looks like it already has a scratch. It's because it was a plastic covering. Now, a lot of people like to pair this device with the TFV4, TFV8, TFV12, TF whatever, Baby Beast, Big Beast, Cloud Beast, those kind of tanks. I don't actually have those tanks at all, so I'm going to be using my Inakin Slipstream because my Inakin Axiom is still on its way to me. It's being shipped, but it does still look really nice black on black with the gold rim, which I like. When you put an atomizer on and try to fire it, it does ask new or old coil, and it shows the old, the resistance of the old coil that was on it and the resistance of the new coil that's on it to the third decimal place. So this new coil is 0.492. And you go left for new or right for old. We're gonna go new because it's new. Wow, wow, this just has so much information on the screen. I cannot believe it. Holding the plus and minus button at the same time will lock your device. Pressing the fire button five times really fast will lock your device. Holding the plus and fire button at the same time takes you into the selection mode for watts, memory mode, or temp mode. Oh, check this out, we'll push this. Then you can choose from watt temp or memory. I prefer wattage. Right now it is at six, it's at six watts. So we're definitely going to take it up to 35 or 40, depending on where I like it. Oh, hell no. 
it goes really really fast if you hold it down like so fast it goes like by 10 watt increments i think so that went too far <laughs> for me i kind of love how it has all of this information on the screen it's crazy so you can see i have it at 45 watts in normal mode that's what the n is up here you can see the life of my batteries and all of the information you could ever really want on your freaking device that's so cool if you hold the fire button and the minus button it enters the setting output mode which is normal soft or hard then you can pick through there i definitely want normal so let's vape on it already. I mean, it's, I honestly thought this was gonna be super big and bulky and heavy. It's not too bad at all, actually. I mean, it is still kind of a little heavy for like my personal preference, but it's as far as like it fits in my hand, way better than I thought it was going to. So if you're a thumb presser like me, the regulatory buttons aren't in the right spot, I guess, unless you're right-handed i guess it all depends on how you your vaping style but if i use this thumb to vape then yes i can press these buttons they're really easy to press but if i or if you use like your fingers like this to press the fire button then you can use your thumb to press the regulatory buttons that was a 2.3 second vape see down here it says 2.3 and it shows this meter bar kind of full to right there because you can vape the meter ball all the way full which is a 12 seconds so after 12 seconds it'll cut off and you can't vape any more than 12 seconds i i wonder how long i can even vape for i have no idea i guess we could try we'll try right now it's probably not more than three seconds <laughs> Point two seconds. I feel like I probably could have vaped a little bit longer, but I don't want to be exhaling and coughing my brains out because my lungs can't hold that much vape. We'll try one more time. I'm gonna get to four seconds. Holy crap. I thought for sure that would be four seconds. It was 3.5. That's a lot of vape. What is your longest vaping I inhale? Like, I mean, the 12 second cutoff is great because if it gets accidentally pushed in your pocket or your purse, then it'll cut off and it won't, you know, f mess up your atomizer. But does anyone actually inhale for that long? Like, I couldn't. I thought that, I thought four seconds was gonna be hard and I didn't even make it to four seconds. To power off the device, you just need to lock the screen. And then if you press and hold the power button for five seconds, It'll ask you power on, power off. So you pick off and then press and hold the power button again and it is powering down. And it is off, turn it back on. There you have it. You can also get into the operations menu by pressing the fire bar three times. And then you're in mode puffs settings you can get to all of that through here and then to select you just press and hold so we'll go into the puff settings you can reset them if you want or not we don't i'm not gonna in the mode section of the menu you can pick stealth on or off you can pick screen time so it'll shut down after a certain amount of time 60 seconds 61 seconds you can wow you can really customize that so that's just like the main menu but there's also quick menus like i showed you with like the fire button and the plus button getting to the mode menu quicker So for those of you who like a super custom vape and a super customizable vape and a bunch of information on your vaping settings and everything, this would be the mod for you. Like I said, everyone's been raving about this and I feel like I want to do a one month update, but at the same time, this is just, it's not my vaping style, but like I could try. If you guys, if I have to get enough requests, so if you guys want to see a one month update on this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll use it for a month when my Axiom gets here. Oh, I got something in my eye. And then I'll report back to you guys. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a heavy duty, nice mod with all this information and all this customizable vaping settings. I know everybody's been raving about it. I will leave a link below to where you can get it with free shipping inside the US. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check 
the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.